Hello. Today I'm going to be doing another my favorite movies type um, video. <laughs> Today's letter is G. We've gone to G so far. <laughs> so I went to my movie shelf and I grabbed movies I could see that start with G that I like a lot. At seven this time. Um, actually, one of these is a TV show, but I like it so much that I'm just gonna include it anyway. But the first one is Grease. Grease, starring John Travolta. And Olivia Newton John. This is a twentieth anniversary edition, so I believe that would be like. It was 98. This came out in 1978. <laughs> this is a widescreen. I also grabbed, obviously it's a VHS. Um, I have a couple of VHSs here and then DVDs as well. <laughs> On the back, it says, video bonus. Includes new retrospective interviews with John Travolta, who plays Danny, Olivia Newton-John, who plays Sandy, Stockard Channing, who plays Rizzo, Jeff Conaway, who plays Kinnicky, Dee Dee Kahn, who plays Frenchie, and director Randall Kleiser and producer Alan Carr. Here they are at the end of the movie, at the uh, school carnival. Knicky, Sandy, Danny, and Rizzo. And down here it says, John Travolta solidified his position as the most versatile and magnetic screen presence of the decade in this film version of the smash hit play, Crease. Recording star Olivia Newton-John made her American film debut as Sandy, Travolta's naive love interest. The impressive supporting cast reads like a who's who in this quintessential musical about the fabulous 50s. Fabulous 50s. Fabulous 50s. Grease is not just a nostalgic look at a simpler decade. It's an energetic and exciting musical homage to the age of rock and roll. Rock and roll. And it says that it's from 1978. I was right. It's in color and it's 110 minutes. And it's rated PG. <laughs> and this little cover opens. Say in the opens like that. Has a picture of the boys. Has a picture of the school dance. Has a picture of the girls. And there's Sandy and Danny doing their, um, you're the one that I want. Ooh, 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 honey. Looks like there was, I think there was a CD in here, I think. Yeah, it says down here, the Grease Mega Mix featuring John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. A, you're the one that I want. B, Grease Lightning. And C, Summer Nights. I guess it was like a CD of those songs like mixed together or something. Not there anyway. <laughs> Grease. 
next two are also VHS's and this one is George of the Jungle. George of the Jungle. Two thumbs up, says Siskel and Ebert. And the elephant, and we have the gorilla, and we have George, and we have Disney. George of the jungle. We have his imprint where he slammed through it. <laughs> Hilariously funny. Five stars, highest rating. Says Newsday or Kids Day. Here we have George lifting up a lion. George posing with his arms crossed. And the gorillas. Oh, and the toucan. <laughs> That's the one where it goes tookie tookie. I think it is. <laughs> tookie tookie. <laughs> Says here, Disney presents the smash hit comedy that families and critics everywhere went bananas over. Bananas, bananas. Deep in the heart of the African jungle, a baby named George. The sole survivor of a plane crash is raised by gorillas. George grows up to be a buff and lovable klutz, played by Brendan Fraser, who has a rainforest full of animal friends, like Tookie, his big beaked messenger, Ape, a talking gorilla who's smarter than your average rocket scientist, and Shep, a gray-haired peanut-loving pooch of an elephant. When poachers mess with George's pals, the King of Swing swings into action. But before you can say, watch out for that tree, George comes face to bark with a few vine-covered obstacles. You'll go wild for this wonderfully wacky comedy that People Magazine calls impossible to resist. Ninety-two minutes. And it's in color. Doesn't have the year on here. Um, it also stars uh, Leslie Mann, Thomas Hayden Church, Holland Taylor, Richard Roundtree, and John Cleese. Um, he plays the voice of the ape named Ape. <laughs> George of the Jungle. And the last VHS is Gold Member. Austin Powers in Gold Member. This stars Mike Myers, Beyonce Knowles, and Michael Caine. And Mike Myers again. And uh, Vern Troyer.
also includes two music videos by Beyonce, Work It Out, and Britney Spears Boys. Extremely funny, says Stephen Hunter from the Washington Post. And Mike Myers is a comic genius, says Joel Siegel from Good Morning America. He's found his mojo, baby. And now Austin Powers strikes gold in this newest 24 karat shagadelic comedy adventure. The shh hits the fan when Dr. Evil and Mini-Me escape from prison. Joining forces with the super freaky gold member, <laughs> they kidnap Austin's father, master spy Nigel Powers. In a dastardly travel time travel scheme to take over the world. Before I can say shake your booty, Austin cruises to 1975 and teams up with sexy Foxy Cleopatra to stop Dr. Evil and Goldmember from their mischievous mayhem. It's an hour and 35 minutes and it's in color. It's from 2002. It also stars um, Seth Green, Michael York, Robert Wagner, and Mindy Sterling. Now moving on to the DVD, we have Gone with the Wind. This is a two disc 70th anniversary edition. This was the winner of 10 Academy Awards, including um, Best Picture for 1939. Here we have Clark Gable and Vivian Lee and Tara. A towering landmark of a film, says Roger Ebert from the Chicago Sunday Times. <laughs> Period romance, war epic, family saga, popular fiction adapted with crowd-pleasing brilliance. Star acting glow with charisma and passion. Movie making craft at its height. These are sublimely joined in the words, gone with the wind. This dynamic and durable screen entertainment of the Civil War era South comes home with the renewed splendor of a new 70th anniversary digital transfer, capturing a higher, capturing a higher resolution image from restored picture elements than ever before possible. David O. Selznick's a monumental production of Margaret Mitchell's Pulitzer Prize winning book now install new generations of home viewers with a majestic vibrance that befits one of Hollywood's greatest achievements. Here we have Rhett, played by Clark. And we have Scarlet, played by Vivian. It includes a commentary by historian Rudy Bellmer. From 1939, it's in color, it's 233 minutes. Very long, long movie. Um, it also stars Leslie Howard and Olivia de Havilland.
And the next one is a TV show I was talking about that I love so much. And that's Gilmore Girls. We got two G's there. This is the complete third season, which is my favorite season. Here we have Lauren Graham, who plays the mom. And we have Alexis Bledel, who plays the daughter. Um, Rory and Lorelai. Continues to be a smart, vibrant woman's world worth watching. Richly written, grade A, says Ken Tucker from Entertainment Weekly. More fun, more flames, more flame outs. More Gilmore. This deluxe six disc set contains all 22 third year episodes plus bonus features of Gilmore Girls. The hit series known for its witty, rapid-fire dialogue and poignant, suds-free storylines. For mother and daughter, Lorelai and Rory Gilmore, it's a year of change. Much of it is expected, like Rory's graduation from Chilton and the anxiety of waiting for college acceptance letters. But much of it is not. Rory starts the year with two boyfriends, that may be two too many. Lorelai rekindles the flame with Max, maybe. Lane meets Mr. Wright at last. Suki gets a surprise, a good one. And so does the Independence Inn, not such a good one. The girls are waiting, get watching. The bonus materials? Um, there's a revealing cast documentary, All Grown Up, Stories of Childhood Experiences. There's our favorite 80s, favorite era um, dance moves. Additional scenes on, additional scenes on three episodes. Um, there's Who Wants to Fall in Love, the season's most romantic moments. This is in color, and it's 955 minutes. And it's from um, 2002 and 2003. Um, it also stars Melissa McCarthy, Kiko Atina, Yannick Truesdale, Scott Patterson, um, Liza Wheel, Jared Padalecki, Milo Ventimiglia, Sean Gunn, and Kelly Bishop. And a um, special appearance by Edward Harriman. The next one is Gremlins. This is actually a triple feature. It has Goonies, Gremlins, and Gremlins 2. I haven't seen the Goonies, but I'd like to. It also starts with a G. <laughs> but there's Gremlins 2, which I also haven't seen, but I like the first one a lot. Like how cute little guy is. <laughs> you know, cute gizmo. Gizmo starts with a G too. Gremlins. the 25th anniversary edition by Steven Spielberg by Steven Spielberg Eighties Adventures full of gruesome good time. Gremlins is a wildly original roller coaster ride of hilarious mischief. One minute your hair will stand on end, 
The next you'll hold your sides with laughter at the havoc these supposedly gentle furballs <laughs> create when the rules surrounding their care and feeding are inadvertently broken one fateful Christmas. Written by Chris Columbus and directed by Joe Dante, uh, Gremlins unleashes special effects that dazzle and enchant and merriment that lingers in the memory. There's over 10 minutes of additional scenes and making of featurette. And here's the gremlin after it breaks the rules. <laughs> Not as cute as this little guy. <laughs> He's so cute. I love when it goes, bright light, bright light. <laughs> it's from 1984. It's 106 minutes and it's in color. And the last one is Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. This is also a, I guess, four film feature. <laughs> it has four Marilyn Monroe favorites. But we're gonna be talking about the ones that have the G right now, but I love them all. Um, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, starring Jane Russell and Marilyn Monroe. Featuring Marilyn Monroe's legendary rendition of Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, this fun musical comedy is a knockout. Marilyn and Jane Russell star as two showgirls who set sail on a luxury liner bound for France. Hijinks on the high seas ensue as Lorelai and Dorothy discover they're being tailed by a private detective hired by the father of Lorelai's landlocked boyfriend. By the time the ship reaches Paris, the missing diamond tiara lands the girls in hot water, but by following their hearts, they'll get out of trouble and onto the altar. Um, there's special features. There's a Fox movie to news, Marilyn and Jane in Cement. There's the original theatrical trailer. There's a one-sheet still gallery, and there's a restoration comparison. It's from 1953. It's in color, and it's 91 minutes. Well, those were some movies. I like to start with the G, or for you guys, this way. <laughs> and I will see you soon.